that I'm an art director, I think many people would be surprised to know that my first job was actually as a bus driver. Except that it was a very special bus. It was converted into a gallery to take art to people all around Scotland. But I like to describe myself as the bus driving curator. I think the big challenge for the arts now is twofold. One is to continue to lobby for its importance at the heart of society, uh, that the arts are not something that is you know, a, a nice add-on to have if you've got the time. Uh, I do believe that the arts and creativity are the future and that businesses are going to be increasingly looking for people who have a creative understanding of the world and can think creatively. Uh, and I think that's really an important thing for the arts like museums to challenge. And the other thing, of course, is the digital world. How do we make the museum experience 24 hours digitally and use the digital experience to relate to the real experience, which is actually coming into the gallery and seeing these wonderful works of art. I came to be working in the arts almost by mistake. Uh, I went to university to study languages. Uh, and I had to take another subject other than French and German. So I looked in the syllabus and I thought, nothing too early in the morning, nothing too late at night, nothing over lunchtime. Uh, and I came across art history and I'd never studied either history or art. In fact, I couldn't draw when I was at school. But I did think that this idea of learning about the wonderful historical riches of the past through the culture, through the art, would be really interesting. And so I signed up and I was completely entranced from my first lecture. Uh, and it, my interest really grew from there. So in a way, it was, uh, it was almost by accident. Ooh, there are lots. <laughs> I think the one that really gets me going is when uh, people, sometimes politicians, tell me that uh, ordinary people, quote unquote, are not interested in art. Uh, and I think that notion somehow that you have to have a particular education or you have to go to a particular school or um, you have to come from a particular suburb uh, means that you, you're not interested in art. I find that very, um, very annoying and I've spent a lot of my career challenging that, doing things like, um, for example, we have a partnership with a rugby league club in Western Sydney uh, and one of the reasons for doing that is to, to work closely with groups of people who might never have thought of coming here. Uh, and I like uh, telling people, I like challenging that, uh, that misconception about, about art. I think the thing I most admire about artists is that they do take risks and they put themselves on the line. You know, they really put themselves out there, they, they lay themselves open to criticism, um, they work away in their studios and then they put this work out into the world. And they have an extraordinary ability, artists, I think, to, to make us look at the world differently and to remind us, to reflect back on ourselves. So I think it is that, that new vision, that new, that new way of looking at things that I most enjoy about it. Is the way you are